Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Car Action and today we're gonna talk about how your sensible daily driver ready for the next season. As we all know, summer is done. Any moment the guy upstairs, he's gonna do the salt bay thing and cover the land with his white stuff. And at that point, what we do is we hide our financial mistakes and start focusing on our sensible cars. Sensible. I like that word, sensible. That was weird. The purpose of my video today is to show you how you get your daily driver ready for the winter season. First, the number one priority is make sure you open your hood and then you replace your windshield wiper fluid with some antifreeze because in Canada, temperature goes well below minus 20, some areas up to minus 40 degrees centigrade. If you have regular water in your windshield wiper fluid, it's going to freeze. And when you need your windshield wiper fluid, because you're going to need it, you're going to need your fluids in wintertime a lot more than in summertime because the whole line is froze, you're in for a whack load of trouble. So replace the windshield wiper fluids when it's still warm. Second on the menu, sticking with the windshield wiper fluid, you also need a good quality windshield wipers right now I have these Bosch Teflon coated wipers but they are about a year old and they are making a lot of noise and also when you use the wiper they leave a lot of streaks if your wiper is leaving streaks or making squeegee noise that means it's end of time it's time to invest in some new wipers having a good clean working wiper is also a safety concern because if you're stuck in a blizzard or you're in a highway you're passing a truck and it's snowing if your wiper is not working properly you're not gonna see where you're going and that's a problem all right invest some money probably 20 to 30 dollars to brand new good quality wipers and you'll be off to go next thing on the menu is your battery terminals if your battery terminal looks like what mine does it's not a good thing this is clean this is not clean you should clean this up and the other thing is because the temperature goes so low if your battery is not up to par what you may experience in a cold day is your vehicle won't start so take it to a mechanic shop or somewhere where they can load test your battery if your battery is not taking a proper load invest in a newer battery Usually each battery is good for three to four years based on your usage. Uh, what I can tell you right now, my battery is at the three year level. So this is the year I really should be investing in a battery so that, you know, I don't get stuck in the middle of nowhere. While you're doing all of that, you should also clean your engine bay. Don't be me. Next on the menu is your motor itself. You should check the engine oil level. Right now I have a good oil level and most importantly before the winter comes in and there's a big lineup in mechanic shop for people who are late in the proceeding get your oil change done get some high quality full synthetic oils in it and those high quality full synthetic oils will give you eight to ten thousand kilometers and for some people that's more than enough kilometers to go through the winter so please invest a little bit more money get some high quality oil and also full synthetic oil helps with the oil flow in extreme cold startups the oils are a lot more viscous in extreme cold weather it's easier for the oil pump to pick the oil up and send it through the lubrication process because the most amount of wear and tear you're gonna get in your vehicle is a very cold winter startup next in the menu is since you are in a mechanic shop getting your oil change done and everything also tell them to check your brakes because what happens in winter time is especially when there's snow on the ground your ABS automatic braking system will come in and go to get you the best amount of grip on the road and if your brakes are not up to par because the our ABS system you know pulsates the brake in all four corners to give you the best amount of grip if the brake system like pads and rotors are not up to par the system cannot work at its fullest since your vehicle is going to be in a mechanic shop it is also highly recommended to change your brake fluid transmission fluids or in case of an all-wheel drive vehicle change the differential fluid if it hasn't been changed in some time because winter, especially in Canada, it gets really cold and these fluids struggle in an extreme cold environment. So with a fresh set of fluids, you help these systems to stay longer so that you can keep your investment on the road a lot longer. If you live in Canada or any Northern states where they use road salt to clear the snow on the road, you should definitely get your vehicle 
undercoated. I undercoated with a layer of oil. So the salt cannot touch the exposed metal. You can save your investment from turning into a complete rust bucket. And believe me, rust bucket is, it's not fun. It's not fun to work on. It's not fun when it comes to resale. A buyer always look for the cleanest vehicle and a vehicle that has been oiled or serviced regularly. And I kept the best for the last. The elephant in the room. You have to invest in a good set of winter tires. All right, I cannot stress this enough. There are thousands and thousands of videos online proving in a snow condition, a winter tire is your best friend. It can be the difference between life and death. All right, and the other thing is having two sets of tires is because you use a set of tires almost six months of a year and the other set for six months of a year, your tire life for both set of tires will be doubled. So it's not like you will be buying tires as frequently. I don't know if that's a valid argument, but what's a valid argument to me is life and safety. Nothing can beat a good set of winter tire. I don't care how good your summer tire or all season tire is, all season doesn't exist it's either summer three season or winter tires especially in canada there are specific territories like quebec or uh, alberta saskatchewan it's a bylaw that you have to have winter tires by november 1st today is november 7th and my winter tires are still standing here luckily in ontario it's not a bylaw but these tires will be in my vehicle in the next couple of days because i don't want to be caught off guard with a snowstorm and i don't have my winter tires when i have perfectly good winter tires sitting right here it's usually whenever there is the first snowstorm there's the most amount of accidents happen get yourself ready get yourself a set of good winter tires all right my next recommendation is you should always have a roadside assistance kit like this one link right over here or here somewhere around here because these kits they come with a lot of extra things that you need in your vehicle let's say a jumper cable a tire inflator and uh, some blanket flares glow in the dark thing you know it's just for god forbids if you're stuck in a bad snowstorm beside the road a kit like that will definitely help you to weather the storm I hope you never have to use it, but should you fall in a situation like that, you have a kit. They're pretty inexpensive, somewhere between $49.99 to all the way to $75, different ranges of kit. And feel free to buy one, leave one in the car. It will help you in the worst of time. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Now all my summer cars are parked inside, but I will be making car related videos because this is the winter time. This is when I work on little things on my summer vehicle so that they are ready for the next coming season and oh boy i got so much planned hit the subscribe button and the bell notification